Shouldn't you be on the Cardiff run? Been cancelled. They called this morning first thing. Give any reason? It seems they had a cheaper quote and the driver picked it up last night. Cameron. I really don't want any more bad feeling. Nip across the road and get us some muffins, will you, Edna? But we haven't finished. Yeah, we really want them now. Stay and have a cup of tea if you like. I can take a hint. We are not letting him get away with this. So what are you going to do? You've already slashed his tyres. Time to spell things out for him. That is last warning. Oh. Oh, I don't feel too good this morning. I think it was that takeaway. I... Tasted OK to me. Well, I guess we've got plenty more to look forward to. I don't even know what time charity's coming home these days. Yeah, well, it suits me, cos I'm not marrying her for a cooking. If it bothers you that much, you could always get in the kitchen and rattle the pots and pans yourself. Yeah, might just do that. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be late again tonight? No. Taking her and Noah to Harrogate for a slap-up tea. I thought it might cheer her up a bit. That's good of you. Shame she doesn't care about your feelings so much. Her granddaughter's sick. She's doing everything she can to help. Yeah, and seeing a lot of cane. Look, don't start that again. Look, man, I'm just looking out for you. Can't pretend you're happy about it. Look, I've talked to her. She knows how I feel. Right, so if everything's OK, why don't you tell Mum and Dad about marrying her? Morning, Laurel. How are you today? Well, I'll be a lot better if you doubled my wages. Mine's oh, hard. Yeah, I'll just have to wait for my lottery numbers to come up one time. You know I'm right. Hey, you're late. Yeah, I got caught in traffic on the ring road. Oh, I'm starting to get a bit worried about you. I thought Carl's had another dig. I can look after myself, how's Sarah? Um, yeah, she slept better. Oh, maybe that's a good sign, right? Got this one. Very touching. If it hadn't been bought with my money, that Cardiff run is ours. Yeah, well, I gave him a better deal. It's called Free Enterprise, Carl. You don't know when to quit, do you? Why are you getting so angry? I've warned you. What are you going to do? Slash his tyres again? That was just a taster. You don't back off, it's going to get serious. I'm just providing for my family, Carl. You're not going to be able to do that if you end up in hospital, are you? Do yourself a favour, take the warning. OK, enough's enough. You were right, we need to sort him out. Well, you've been driving half the night. You need to get some sleep first. Well, the way I see it is, we've got to get him before he gets us. Any coffee on the go? I'm not sure she'll be letting you have any after you stirred things up with Laurel. Um, I was just spelling things out. But it didn't work, seeing as you were together again last night. How do you know that? I saw her coming down the hill from your house. You want to tell me about it? Not really. Problem shared is a problem hard. Who said I have a problem? We both know it's a dangerous situation. We're good friends. We're allowed to talk. Hmm. That's what I was talking to her about. I was telling her you need a good woman in your life. A good woman who isn't already <sighs> married. I was trying to help. Do me a favour. Don't try and help. You're making things worse. From what I've seen, you're quite capable of messing up your own life. You've blown two marriages, run a ditch to feed Rachel, friend. get off my case. This really is for your own good, you know. I don't like people hanging around my kitchen. I wish there was more I could do, but if you ever need a break, I can always look after Sarah. Oh, thanks. Well, actually, what we need right now is for someone to stop Carl King being such pain. I can't work miracles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Still, if I keep nicking his contracts, it'll put him out of business eventually. Yeah, and it'll kill us both by then. We need something that is going to stop him in his tracks now. OK, why don't we copy Chaz? Hit him in the pocket. Hey, babe. Uh, Lisa said she can look after Sarah later. Oh, good, because we need your advice. We're planning on taking Carl and his trucks out of action. Oh, yes, I like it. Mm, it's not going to be easy, though. He's already suspicious of everything we do. Well, it never stopped your dad, did it? Do you remember? Snatched Tom from right under the noses. Yeah, you just need a good plan, don't you? <sighs> do you know what? Maybe 
this isn't the right time to be planning something like this. Well, don't stop on my account. Well, you've got a lot on your plate right now. Yeah, well, I've had enough of Carl. I want him out of my hair so I can concentrate on getting Sarah better. Okay. Then we're all agreed. We know what we want. We just need to work out how we get it. Anything else? No, she just couldn't get the cash and carry to do it. I don't suppose Val mentioned anything about paying for this lot, did she? Say she'll uh, settle up with you later. Mm. I'm still waiting for the money for the crisps she borrowed last week. Yeah. Have they managed to find a match for little Sarah? No, not yet. They're hoping to find one. The family's been tested as donors. Hang on. You've worked there long enough. You must know the layout of the place. There's an alarm system in the yard. Trigger it and the old bill will be crawling all over the place within 20 minutes. Right, but how are we actually going to get in? We need to find a way into the office. That's where all the keys are. And I think the solution just walked through that door. Edna. Yeah, she's got the keys to the place. You know how conscientious she is, always telling Mr Carl that she needs to be ready for any emergency. You know, this should really be champagne. What? To celebrate the good news. <laughs> what do you mean? Ashley told me you're planning another baby. <laughs> We're just talking about it, nothing definite. No. Well, the good thing is, the thoughts are going the right direction. You know, for a while, I thought there were problems between you. I was very worried. In fact, I gave Ashley a pep talk on treating you better. Ashley's always treated me well. Ah. Well, perhaps it was something else that was worrying you. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. I've obviously made a mistake. Time to move in. Okay. You just watch and learn. Oh, you're not going to wish me luck. Luck. But from what I've heard, you don't need it. You've been doing this since you were a kid. I do think you're being very brave about it. Oh, well, you do try to be. Yes, a bit uptight sometimes, but. Sorry for being so rude the other day as well. With what you're going through, it's understandable. What are chances? Well, it just depends if we find a match. Well, obviously, we'll all get tested. Oh, thanks. But I think you're a little bit over the age limit of what you're looking for, actually. Well, don't give up hope. You know, you really should try and come into church sometime. And bring Sarah um, with you. I'll certainly try. You know, I'm just starting to feel a little bit dizzy. I think get me some water. Oh, of course. Anything I can do to help. Pie, please, Diane. Coming up. Diane. <clears throat> Debbie needs some water. Can't she get it herself? Be with you in a minute, Edna. She is going through a rough time. You really ought to try and be a little bit more supportive. Are you going to tell me what's going on? We've got it all planned out. We don't want Carl getting out of this. He's just taking a truck off. All right, that'll be Skipdale Poultry. Second Tuesday of every month. It's a regular booking. How long will that keep him busy? Three hours max. He'll probably bring the truck back to the yard to give it hose down and then he'll go straight home. And then the office will be empty as soon as Edna goes, yeah? Well, Jimmy's in there with him today. Obviously not got much work on. That'll be because you've been nicking it all. <laughs> yeah, they'll pack up at five and that's when I'll go in. All right, well, you've been eating these. Are you sure you don't want the grown-ups to pull this job off for you? Hmm. I can handle it. Me and Charlie got a lot of experience in this kind of care, Pa. <sighs> I've been waiting to pay Carl back for a while, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. We were hoping you'd have a word with Ashley about how the church could help Sarah. Uh, yes, I'm sure he'd like to do anything he can. Well, perhaps we could set up a children's party at the village hall. You could help Laurel organise that, Marlon. Glad to. You two always work so well together. Hey, here you've got a chance.
cherry bakewell tart on your menu tonight. Oh, I wish you'd give Laurel your recipe. It really is one of my favourites. Well, I think Laurel had quite enough of my recipes from when we did the cookbook. Well, she must have enjoyed it or she wouldn't have spent so much time with you. Pity you had to fall out. What exactly was the argument about? Oh, it's something or nothing. And yet you wrote that charming dedication. Well, I was, I was really grateful for her help. Mm. I'd be grateful for yours. Meaning? Uh, it's rather awkward. You know how it is. Familiarity breeds and all that. I mean, those loving couples occasionally drift apart for a while. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Well, I was referring to Ashley and Laurel. But, but, the great news is they're back on track and making exciting plans. So, we must all help them the best we can. Mustn't we? I've got to go and clear up in my kitchen. Nervous? I'll be fine. Listen, you need to be careful. Doesn't matter how we feel about Carl, I don't know what I'd do if you got caught. Which is exactly why I should let me and Charity pull the job off. We'll have them time. I'll survive. Thanks, but, you know, this is still our fight. Hey, when are you supposed to be meeting Jay? Why just tell him I was too tired? Having too much fun, you mate. What, well, you know, I don't want anyone asking any awkward questions. Yeah, he's right. Jay's your alibi, you need to get off. Yeah, all right, I'm going. All right, then. Um, good luck, yeah? Thanks. Need to go over the plan again? No. I know exactly what I need to do. Hello. What do you want? Oh, we didn't finish our conversation about Laurel and Ashley. So I've got dinners to prepare. Well, you, you can work while we talk. <clears throat> I referred to the uh, dedication you wrote. What about it? Well, you must be fond of her to have written that. Well, we're good friends. Indeed. Mm, you seem very close. Which is why I'm surprised she didn't tell you about her new plans with Ashley. Um... Diane's asked me to scrub out your pots and pans. Well, can, can you all stop crowding me? I can't really work in these conditions. Uh. Hey, Sandy, I hear Turner's getting around in. I think he was wondering why you were. Oh, well, we mustn't keep the old boy waiting, must we? Come along, my dear. I'm sure I can persuade him to buy you one as well. <laughs> See ya. We'll uh, speak at another time. We need to meet up. It's just a little bit awkward, you know. Yeah, well, I'll see, I'll see what I can do. OK. Ta-ra. Who's that? Uh, Nicola. Mm -hmm. She's in a bit of a flat. Angel's not been invited to some birthday party or something, I don't know. Storm the teacup. Mm, don't stop her, though, eh? No. Where was I? Oh, yes, sorry, I was telling you about Mrs Aldred's ideas for a, uh... Food bank. She'd been going through the parish records and apparently there was an almshouse in Robblesfield in the last century. Really? Said it was paradoxical that we did more for the rural poor in Victorian times than we do now. I had to agree, really. Do you know, I think I'm going to go and see Nicola. I thought it was just a storm in a teacup. Yeah, well, you know what she's like. If I don't talk her down, Jimmy's going to get a right ear bashing. <laughs> <laughs> she's lucky to have such a good friend. Do you want me to come with you, keep him company? No, no, it's fine, cos... Jimmy's at work, so. Oh. Won't be long. OK. Yo, 
You're late. I was worried because uh, Jay was on about taking you and Noah out for tea. I don't really like Noah stopping out late on a like, school night. Well, we thought it might cheer you up after all you've been going through. He's always trying to do his best for you. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Do you? Because sometimes I wonder if you're not taking advantage of it. Maybe you haven't noticed, but I'm having a really difficult time right now in my life. But I'm sorry about Sarah. I really am. But it's not making things easy for my brother either. Meaning? You're spending a lot of time with Kane. Yeah, we're both concerned about our granddaughter. What, and that's all? Have you any idea how sick she actually is? No, but I know what you're like. And especially where Kane's concerned. No, I'm just trying to look out for my brother. And I don't want to see him get hurt. Nor do I. And me and Jay are just fine with it, so you need to back right off, baby, yeah? Yeah. Oh, good day, yeah? Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, cool. I just... Just had a long, busy day. All better for seeing you, Dan. Um, I've only come back to say that I'm babysitting Sarah tonight. Are you cool with that? Um, yeah, of course. Thank you. I'll see you later. I'm sorry Carl was in such a mood. Oh, I hate all this bad feeling between him and Cameron. And I'm sorry you were upset. Let me buy you a drink. Well, it's, it's very kind of you, but... I don't like to leave Tootsie on her own for too long. <sighs> She'll be ready for her walk and her evening snack. Mustn't keep you from her, then. Good night, Jimmy. See you in the morning. You weren't going to come. Yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't have, but uh, oh, I don't want to make things any worse. You're starting to have doubts. On you? I don't know what to think. sonny has been asking questions what? about us. What do you think he knows? No, well, there's nothing really to know, is there? It was just a kiss. It didn't really mean anything. I can't go on like this. Well, you know, maybe yesterday was the wake-up call we needed. It's, we just have to be more careful from now on. I can't lie to Ashley. And I wouldn't want to put you in a position where you had to. So, that's it, you know, I... I can't have an affair, you must no, see that. No, of course... Yes. However I feel about you, I couldn't do that to him. So that's it. It's the end of it. Carl. Oh, I thought we had agreed. Uh, and you know, of course we can't have an affair. It doesn't mean we can't be friends. After all, Ashley was worried when he thought our friendship was over. We don't want to worry him. I just don't see that working. Don't you trust me? It's not you. I don't trust myself. So, um... <laughs> I think you're right. We would just be friends. Friends. I've got to go. I've got to go. Well? Mission accomplished. Are you sure no one saw you? He ain't gonna know what's hit him tomorrow morning. Carl King's gonna wake up to find his business going down the pan. Well, I think that deserves a little celebration.
No, you couldn't resist. Can't let the kids have all the fun, can we? No, we can't. Plus, you and me have got a few scores to set with Carl King. So, the old team back in business, eh? You can buy me a drink. I've got some planning to do. So the Dingle's plan to ruin the Kings is in motion. Will they succeed, though? For a sneak preview, watch our exclusive interview with Dominic Power, who plays Cameron, at itv.com slash Emmerdale. Tonight, avoiding the traps means it's high stakes to win half a million brand new with Jeremy Carl at eight before 71 degrees north at nine o'clock.